So we continue our talk about hematology and if you haven't already watched the previous videos, please go ahead and watch them. I'll link the playlist in the description. Today's topic is red cell distribution with or RDW. What's that? You will know. Whenever we are trying to diagnose anemia in the lab, we need RDW. Why? Because it's important. What's RDW? or red cell distribution width, it measures the variation of RBC diameter, okay? So, let's say we have a small RBC and an intermediate one and big and bigger. There is a variation. When there is a size variation, we call it anisocytosis. Let's break that down. And isocytosis. What's the name of what's the meaning of n? No, it's a Greek word. No. Iso means the same. Cyto means cell. Osis means condition. It's the condition of cells of different sizes. Okay. Red cell distribution width measure the variation in the diameter. Okay. So when cells are of different diameters, the RDW is high. There is increase in the distribution of widths. You see? So, the normal RBC diameter equals around 7 micrometer. The normal RDW is a percentage of the variation and it's normally between 11.5 and 14.5 percent it's only significant if elevated so if we measure the rdw and its normal range it's insignificant it didn't tell me anything but if it's elevated that's crucial that's of importance so when the rbc's are of the same size the rdw is normal when they are of different size, i.e. the variation is big, that's increased RDW. What's the name of the condition? Anisocytosis. So, to understand why cells vary in size, especially in anemia, we have to discuss it. Okay, so this is the bone marrow, and the bone marrow is producing cells that are of normal size or normal diameter, i.e. normocytic RBCs. Okay, that's fine. Let's say now that I am deficient in iron. I am not getting enough iron and there is iron deficiency, which will cause iron deficiency anemia. But it will happen gradually. So first, bone marrow still have kind of enough iron, so it will produce normal cells. Then the iron will decrease, okay? So cells will get smaller because I don't have enough iron. I'm making RBCs um, big enough kind of to make my iron equal for the production. So it's okay. Then they're getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller from normocytic to microcytic. Okay, it happens gradually. Okay, so the RDW will catch the difference between this one and this one and we will have elevated rdw rome did not fall in a day neither did the bone marrow it happens gradually so in iron deficiency anemia as we'll discuss in separate video there we have microcytic anemia with increased RDW, as we've said before. In vitamin B12 deficiency, we'll have macrocytic anemia, again with increased RDW. So, please remember this. However, let's see, thalassemia, it's a genetic disease, okay? There is no deficiency, so there is no gradual deterioration of the bone marrow production. Okay, so the RDW is normal. I'm already having the problem from the beginning. 
nothing is decreasing i'm not getting deficient in iron gradually it's genetic rdw is normal so let's summarize the whole idea behind rdw is that rdw is elevated in nutritional anemia but normal in genetic anemia genetic causes of anemia as thalassemia will have normal rdw nutritional anemia such as iron deficiency and b12 deficiency will have increased rdw remember iron deficiency anemia almost always have an increased rdw thank you very much please subscribe and see you next video